Llewellyn Galleries in Santa Fe, New Mexico, is pleased to present a major exhibition entitled John Nieto, The Legacy Paintings, currently on view in our main gallery space. Nieto died in 2018 at the age of 82 and is thought of today as a leading figure in American contemporary art. This is the first major exhibition of Nieto's art after his death and consists of rarely seen works from the 1980s and 90s known as the legacy paintings. This 20 year period is considered the height of his career and the works in this exhibition were put away by the artist as representative of his finest works to be shown after his death. John Nieto is celebrated for his emotionally resonant paintings of Southwestern and indigenous subjects, which he rendered in heightened and expressive color. Nieto was known as a brilliant colorist, and his use of color is raw, expressive, and intuitive. He wrote, We are born with a genetic memory or consciousness of color, and everyone's choice of color is personal. Nieto's New Mexican ancestry, a mix of Mascalero Apache, Navajo, and Spanish, can be traced back more than 300 years. He was inspired by his own heritage, as well as his deep study of the history and culture throughout the Southwest. He is renowned today for his richly modulated images of indigenous fancy dancers, plains archers, basket weavers, and chieftains, as well as his portrait of other contemporary and historical icons of the Southwest, such as George O'Keefe, Kit Carson, and Maria Benitez. His images are filled with statuesque grace and a feeling of celebration that Nieto hoped to inspire about indigenous people and the culture of the Southwest. He believed that through his powerful colorations, he might help his audience to understand the nobility, dignity, pride, and hurt of Native Americans that many of his paintings quietly carry. In the rich interaction of his colors, he created images that are worthy of study and act as enduring totems of times and events in the nation's history that he felt must never be forgotten and preserved for all time in his captivating paintings. After spending most of his youth in New Mexico, John Nieto earned a bachelor's degree in fine art from Southern Methodist University in 1959. Inspired after visiting an exhibition of Fauvist art at the Dallas Art Museum that same year, Nieto traveled to Paris, visiting museums with collections of art by prominent Fauvist artists André Matisse and André Durand. His discovery of the Fauvist treatment of color, which prioritized striking, non-naturalistic color to communicate emotional meanings, was crucial to Nieto's development and the maturation of his style. Over the course of his career, John Nieto's work was exhibited across the United States and in Europe, Japan, Central America, and Africa. After participating in an exhibit at the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in Washington, D.C., John met with President Reagan in the Oval Office of the White House and presented him with his painting, Delegate to the White House. The work was hung in the White House for many years and was later included in the collection of the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley, California. In 1994, Nieto received New Mexico's Governor's Award for Achievement in the Arts, the state's highest honor for a living artist. He received Southern Methodist University's Distinguished Alumni Award in 2006. This majestic work 
depicts the brilliantly colored figure of a Native American chief in his critical ritualistic role as shaman. Through the resonance of his great rawhide drum, the chief is invoking the divine powers of the Wakan Tonka, or the Great Spirit, for support and guidance as a spiritual intermediary for his people. Ceremonial drums were invested with tremendous symbolic importance and were perceived to contain the powers of both lightning and thunder. In this work, the rich red aura emanating from the chief's figure conveys the strength of his focused energies. Unusual is the incorporation of actual fabric into the painting, providing both cultural detail and specificity to the work. Nieto painted this extraordinary portrait of Harry Bear in 1996, and it shows the noted Ponca Indian chief who at the age of 40 in 1877 received his ceremonial tomahawk with eagle feather, acknowledging his leadership status in this small plains Indian tribe whose name means those who lead. Harry Bear was involved in the landmark civil rights legal case in 1879 that established for the first time that Native Americans are persons within the meaning of the law and have certain basic legal rights after years of oppression. In Hopi Potter, Nieto's vigorous brushstrokes underscore the focus of the work, the act of painting. We see a Hopi Potter meditatively painting hand-built pots using earthly, clay-based colors. Nieto's color palette is both warm and cool, with the magentas and violets providing vibrant contrast to the transcendent calm of blues and whites. The repetitions of the red earth color in the face, the hands, and the pot underscore their intrinsic metaphysical connections. We might note that the figure emanates an aura of red, blue, yellow, and orange. The potter's activities also emote a rich aura in oranges and red, which are colors associated with creativity. Kiowa delegate captures a regal Native American elder, elaborately dressed to attend a peace conference with American government officials. The figure wears a traditional, multi-layered and multi-colored array of coverings, along with ceremonial moccasins, worn for important occasions. The figure wears a classic peace medal, prestigious governmental gifts to Native Americans to create alliances and to negotiate peace. These medals remain highly prized today. Nieto may have used old photographs as inspiration for this image, underscoring the promise he once made to his elderly Mescalero Apache grandmother to memorialize his ancestry. Johnny, would you paint about my people? Thank you for joining us on this tour of the legacy paintings of John Nieto. To view a catalog of works in the exhibition, please click the link below in the description.